lot of questions about art gouging. I use it on almost a daily basis for crack repair, back gouging welds, or just getting into areas where a torch isn't practical. This is the torch I normally use, a K4000. It's kind of a beefy industrial one. I'm going to show you an easy way to keep the sparks away from you. Okay, these four holes right here is where the air comes out. You want this underneath your electrode, and I have a teeny tiny 3 16 for demonstration. So this part that's nice and flat goes against your workpiece. Whether you're doing a horizontal or vertical weld, remember the flat piece goes against your workpiece. For a horizontal, I would simply go like this, push the metal out and away from me and the piece I'm working on. For a vertical, down, same thing, down and away. Now I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed or you can't get into an area from that side, simply spin it around. Air holes pointing out this way. And you can do the same repair from this side or down. I also get asked a lot of questions about amperage. Arc Air has made it really easy by putting it right on the outside of the box. So no matter what size you, you're using, you'll find the recommended amperage right on the box. Also, when you unpack your torch, we all throw the instructions away. Well, there's a handy dandy little pamphlet that gives you all the information for all the sizes of carbons and the recommended amperage. Also, remember, since you're using usually 80 to 100 PSI to push the metal away, um, the metal can flow 15 to 20 feet away. So keep in mind your work area, any hazards that are around you, any people working around you. You want to make sure that you're not only not going to burn yourself, but you're not going to hurt anybody else.